Hi, and welcome to Ask Better Questions with Alonzo Kelly. Today I thought I'd have a little fun while making a very important point as it relates to a theme I had on social media recently on learning to give yourself permission to say no. Saying no to a request for help, I believe, is also a way to show love and respect in a relationship. Briefly, let me show you why no is also important. I'm holding in my hand a bottle, a bottle of water. Let's say that this bottle, the plastic around it, the, the capsule that the water is in, is you. It represents your capacity. It represents how much of you that you can fill with whatever you want. Let's say the water then becomes time, money, energy, love, focus, service. Whatever you want to say the water is, you can only hold so much of it in this bottle or you. I need you to see though what happens. This is you and you need all those things to accomplish goals you've set for yourself or as I've said in previous episodes, priorities because order matters. Someone comes along and asks you for your help. Well, this is all the help you have to give. This is all the help you have left. Ask yourself, before that person asked you for help, whom else did you decide was a priority that needed your help? But wait, here comes another person. They know you like to help, they know you have no problem helping and they ask you to help and you say yes again. This is all the help you have left. And then someone else asks, and then someone else asks. And before you know it, You decide to focus on the priorities, your family, your kids, your school, your job, that community service partner, whomever it is that you've decided is a priority for you. The water is all you have left. Saying no to a few people would also have been a sign of love because you know what you're capable of and you know that you needed it. The other question I want people to ask themselves before they ask someone for help or before you decide to help someone really boils down to this question. Is anybody aware where you go to refill the bottle? If someone needs your energy and you give them your energy, where do you refill your energy? If someone asks you for money, and you give them your money, how long does it take you to refill it? Your love, your time, your respect, whatever it is, the question becomes, if I help you, where do I refill and how long will it take to refill that? So this is just a simple visual I wanted to give to you so that you can see it before you see it. Saying no does not mean I do not love you anymore. Saying no is also a sign of love that I love me too. It also puts us both in a position to win that I do not feel like what has become a priority in my life trumps whatever is important to a priority in yours. Very happy to help explain this in further detail if you'd like it. Please feel free to contact me if your schedule allows. Thank you for watching Ask Better Questions with Alonzo Kelly. I look forward to seeing you next time. Find full episodes of Ask Better Questions with Alonzo Kelly online at whby.com. I invite you to find me on Twitter at KLG LLC and on Facebook, Kelly Leadership Group LLC. Thanks for watching this episode. We'll see you again soon.